In this video, we're trimming the fat out of Ubuntu. If you like my content, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a comment in the section below and give the video a like. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. And today we're going to be removing some programs that you really don't need in Ubuntu. One complaint a lot of users have is it has a bunch of stuff you don't really need pre-installed. Uh, for example, it has Romana. Uh, maybe Romina, right here, which is a remote desktop client. A lot of people don't use this. I don't really why, know why they include it. However, however, it's one of those programs that a lot of people just want to remove. We'll also go over how to remove Ubuntu software if you guys don't want it, as well as the automatic updates. Because even if you like disable them in the, even if you disable them in the options menu right here, if you like install a program or something and it finds out that it has an update, it will still keep popping up and notifying you, which can get rather annoying if you don't want it to. So we're also going to go ahead and tell you how to remove that out of the system. Also removing. Amazon. So the first thing that we're going to go over is removing stuff like Romana and Cheese, because Cheese is just a webcam app. If you don't want that, you can go ahead and remove it. And Amazon, we'll, we'll remove Amazon as well. And let's see, what other, what other things do we not need? I'll go over Ubuntu software later. I think that's about w it. So we're going to go ahead and remove some of those programs. So we're going to go ahead and remove them using Ubuntu software. Well, actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and remove them through Ubuntu software. I'm going to go here to install. I'm going to go through the list. Like cheese, I don't necessarily use that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, cut that out. The only thing about Ubuntu software is I have to enter in my password every time. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. You know what? But uh, how about this? I just go through here and figure out which ones I want to remove. Definitely not the gnome one <laughs> run time. Um, why do I, why do I have two GIMPs? I don't know. DTK common themes H top that can stay. LibreOffice can stay. Romana, I'll I'll remember that. I'll also remove Seahorse because I don't use credit cards and encryption keys. I don't manage my my um. Uh, Passwords and stuff like that on the horse. So we'll leave Steam installed because, of course, I play games. So we'll remove a mena and seahorse. So we'll just open up a terminal and do a sudo apt purge. Is that how you spell it? Uh, excuse me, I forgot how to spell it. Uh, a minute, okay. I thought I had two ends. And then, C horse. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And now it's gonna go ahead and ask me if I want to remove those. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And now, as you can see also, it's showing that these are no longer required. It's not going to remove those. And what we're going to do is do what we call an auto-remove after this is done. 
and that will remove those particular programs as well. And we're waiting for this to finish. And those programs will be bye-bye. And then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to remove Amazon from it. Now, that is strictly your choice. Amazon is just an affiliate program that they have to help support the channel. If you, you, if you buy a program, or if you buy a product, sorry, from Amazon through that link, through, that, through this icon, a canonical gets a kickback. So that's, that's up to you. So we're going to do a pseudo ABT auto remove auto remove now this is what how you remove like unused libraries that no other program needs it frees up disk space so we're gonna go ahead and do that and hit yes and we're just gonna go ahead and uninstall those okay now that we got those removed now we're gonna go ahead and remove the amazon web launches uh. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do a sudo, sudo, apt, purge, and it's ubuntu, dash, web, dash, launches. And that is going to go ahead and remove the Amazon package. Helps if I type it correctly. Now I will put this this command in the description. And that way you can remember it. And as you can see, it just removed Amazon from down there, and it also removed Amazon from the program list as well. Now, if you want to remove Ubuntu software, this is the way you do it. You're gonna go ahead and do a sudo apt purge it's gnome software it's basically a a now ubuntu who uh, software center is just the gnome software center with ubuntu's name on it that's all it is so we're just going to go ahead and remove that And it's going to go ahead and remove the Ubuntu software center. I don't use it, so I use typically just rip this out of the system. And I also don't use the automatic updater. Also, and now we're going to go ahead and remove the automatic updater, which is the which is sudo apt purge. A update manager and update dash notify now uh, it's going to say it's going to remove the ubuntu desktop and the ubuntu desktop minimal don't worry about that that is just a meta package with a few little packages it's not going to remove your known desktop environment. It's not, going to, it's not going to mess with anything. You'll still be able to start your desktop. You don't have to worry about those. A lot of people in the forums keep asking about that. Don't worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And that's going to remove the, uh, the automatic update system. Because I just don't like it popping up in my face all the time while I'm trying to use my computer. And honestly, I'm one of those people that will remember to update his computer. Now, if you're one of those people that needs a reminder, it's a great system. However, to someone like me, I'm just like, no, I will tell you when to update and not, and you don't tell me. So as you can see, I can go right into here. And I, as you can see, the software updater is missing. You still have the, uh, the application settings right here. 
However, as you can see, you can't like change some of this stuff because it's gone. And that'll keep it from popping up in your face. This is how you remove some of the bloat in in uh, Ubuntu right here. As you can see, I've also installed a bunch of other stuff, but we'll go over that in a minute. Well, in another video, not in a minute, but in another video. And with that, I will see you next time.